Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid, our quiz show where we ask two contestants eight questions of ascending difficulty to see how far they can rise up the English Football Pyramid from the National League at the bottom to the pinnacle, the Champions League. Champions are two contestants today. On his debut, we've got Mike Atkins and we've got returning champ Zach Jalab. Woo! Welcome, boys. And each of you will be given three lifelines along the way. It'll be 50-50, request a clue hmm. and super sub where you can call a friend for advice on the answer. Get an answer right and you move up a level of the pyramid, get one wrong and you drop down a level of the pyramid. I will continue to explain the rules, but you should all have a grip of them by now. Uh, Atkins, yeah. first time on the show. It welcome, is. welcome. Thanks How are you much. feeling? Confident? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's so different from Stat Wars, but it's just... Because <laughs> I, know, I know me and Zach have got history in uh, Stat Wars. You know, we've yeah, played a couple okay. of times. He's won one, I've won one. Um, but this is this is just straight trivia. This is pure knowledge. Can't imagine there's much luck about it. So I'm I'm hoping my chances are good. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. To, to be honest, mate, it normally ends up it normally ends up being um, me and you versus Digi. Yeah. <laughs> teaming up, teaming up. But yeah, Atkins, a very good stat wars. So let's see how you go today, Zach. Returning champion. Great to have you back on. How are you feeling? Could you do yeah. the first man to complete the double? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ever since that. Um, Ever since that first win, it's not been great since then. My doors are also randomly open too. Um, but yeah, no, uh, sure, why not? Why not? Why not? I, I love the I believe confidence. I can. Uh, Atkins, seeing as it's yes. your first time, I'm going to give you the coin toss. I'm flipping Ooh. it now. Would you like heads or tails? Let's go heads. It was heads. Would you like to go first oh. or second? Oh, I'll, I'll go first. Okay, here we go. Atkins, your question comes in from Felix at National League level, and it's what nation is Neymar from? A, Brazil, B, Uganda, C, Argentina, or D, Colombia? You can. Um, <laughs> it's, it's Brazil. It's Brazil. Locking that in. Yeah. Correct. Well done, Atkins. <laughs> Off to a flyer. Good stuff. Zach, let's see. No one's got one wrong at this level yet, but this could be the first. Let's see. This comes in from Daniel Algaren. And it's which current Premier League side plays their home games at Turf Moor? A. Bournemouth, B. Sheffield United, C. Brighton, or D. Burnley? Uh, Burnley. Locking that in? Yes, sir. Correct. Well done, guys. No errors so far. Strong start. Two minutes, second. Atkins, your question at League yeah. Two level comes in from Ishan Misra. And it's who holds the record for most goals in a single Premier League season? A. Alan Shearer, B. Thierry Henry, C. Mo Salah, or D. Harry Kane? Um, well, I know Alan Shearer got 33 or 34 in one of the seasons back in the 90s. I don't think... I'm pretty sure Henry didn't get reach 30, and I'm sure... I don't... I, could, I, can't, I feel like I would have known if Kane or Salah managed it in the last couple of years. So I'm, I'm going to go with my gut go with uh, Alan Shearer. You locking that locking in? It in? Locking it in. Atkins, you were in League Two, you've locked in Alan Shearer, and you were wrong, I'm God. afraid. What? No. <laughs> it was Mo no Salah. Oh He did it dear. he did it in his uh, in his first season back, didn't he? Yeah, okay. in 1718 I think. How many goals did he score? Thirty two, uh, I think. Um which the, the previous record was thirty one. Atkins that is unfortunate oh, but you have I'm, I'm disputing this. You have plenty of time to recover. Oh. Zach, you're yes, in League sir. Two. So for some dignity for the employees of Football Daily, you need to get this right. <laughs> Your question comes in from Garrett Heno, and it's which club did David Beckham move to after Real Madrid? A, New York Red Bulls, B, Seattle Sounders, C, Portland Timbers, or D, LA Galaxy? Uh, LA Galaxy. Locking that in? Yes, mate. Correct, well done. You're into League One. We join Atkins in the National League. Okay. Atkins, your question comes in from Boney.a. And it's which country hosted the 2018 World Cup? A, Russia, B, France, C, Poland, or D, South Korea? Uh, it's Russia. A, Russia. Correct. He's back on, he's back on form. Back to League Two. He's back, back up. To he's League back two. up. Zach. We are joining you in League One. And your question comes in from Ice Varisto underscore. And it's which team did Bayern Munich sign Manuel Neuer from? 
A. Schalke, B. Eintracht Frankfurt, C. Hertha Berlin, or D. Werder Bremen? Uh, Schalke. Locking that in? Indeed I am. Correct. Well done, Zach. He's into the championship. No Come errors on. from Zach. Come on. Atkins, your question at League Two level comes in from Stuart yes. Kirk. And it's whilst Wembley was being redeveloped, where was the wow. FA Cup final held? A, the Millennium Stadium, B, Old Trafford, C, Villa Park, or D, Anfield? Um, A, uh, Millennium Stadium. Correct, Atkins. I don't know I what went wrong. That one. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong at League Two in the first instance, but you've been confident ever since. I love to see this recovery. <laughs> Zach, your question in the championship comes in from David Adagio. Which Great club did Arsenal sign Matteo Genduzzi from? A. Lon, B. Lorient, C. Nice, or D. Amiens? Uh, Lorient. B. Is it? Yeah, B. Locking that in. Yes. The man is on fire. Well done, Zach. Into it's the happening. Premier League. Come on. Smashing Come on. It so far. Well done. <laughs> Atkins, your question at League yeah. One level comes in from Brandon Ginascoli. Regular contributor. Thank you, oh. Mr. Ginascoli. It's which it. team? <laughs> yeah. Which team did Bruno Fernandez play for before Man United? A. Porto. B. Sporting Lisbon. C. Benfica or D. Real Valladolid. Um, Sporting Lisbon. Locking that in. Locking it in. Locking it in. Well done. You're into the championship. Ooh. The recovery is well and truly on for Atkins. Right on your heels, Zach. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Clipping at him. Clipping at him. Zach, your question at Premier League level came in from Captain Kirk underscore seven four two three, and it's Jeez, who was the last team to win Division One before it became the Premier League? A. Leeds, B. Liverpool, C. Arsenal, or D. Man United? Uh, can I use a 50 50 here, please, mate? Of course you can. It's Leeds or Liverpool. Uh, I would like to go with Leeds, please. Locking that in? Yes, sir. Zach, you were in the Premier League. And the march continues. You're going Get up to in! Europa. What, what's the chant, Leeds say? No, we're no marching no. on together. I thought it was just, just Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. <laughs> ah, one of them, one of them, one of them. Big up them. Good work. Guys, you're doing well, except for Atkins' a little blemish, but he's recovered well. Atkins, we join you in the championship, and your question comes in from Isaac.Weston. It's which defender scored two goals for England against Panama in the 2018 World Cup? A. John Stones. B. Harry Maguire, C. Ashley Young, or D. Kieran Trippier? And you do have all three lifelines. Um, I, I remember this, because I remember after he scored his two goals, we got a penalty. And I was shouting at the TV for him to take the penalty <laughs> Harry Kane. Um, it was it, uh, John Stones. It was John Stones. You locking that in? Locking it in. Locking it in. Well done, Atkins. You're into the Premier League. <laughs> it's the same but... ga game Harry Kane scored that ha Hattie with it flicking off the back of his ear. <laughs> yeah, that was the jammiest goal. <laughs> yeah. Zach, you're in the Europa League. You are on for a clean sweep. Let's see whether you can do it uh, with this next question. comes in from Alexander Abersold. It's which team was the last to win the European Cup before the rebrand to the Champions League? Ooh. A, Red Star Belgrade. B, Barcelona. C, Ajax, or D, Inter Milan? And you've got request a clue and super sub. Can I um, request a clue, please? Sure. It was Ronald Koeman scored the only goal of the game. Did he play for Ajax? Yes, but Barca. Uh, I'd like he, to go Did he play with... for Red Star Belgrade? Did he play for all of them? I'd like to go for Barcelona, please. You're locking that in? <laughs> yes. You've had some doubts about Ronald Koeman's playing career, but you've gone with Barcelona and you were right. Well done, Zach. You're in the on, Champions Ronald. League. It like almost worked. Two almost questions worked. away, but only one lifeline remaining for Zach. <laughs> Atkins, you're in the Premier League and your oh. question comes in from Yusuf underscore Zahid. And it's who was the top assist provider in the 15-16 Premier League season? Jeez. A, Christian Eriksen. B, Dimitri Payet. C. David Silva or D. Meza Ozil? Oh, I remember the Dimitri Payet days. 15-16, <laughs> um, that was the year Leicester won it. 
Arsenal second, Spurs third, City fourth. Can I request a clue? Mm -hmm. I request a clue. Yeah. Your clue is, I provided 19 assists that year, just one off the then record, or still record actually. Great. Uh, yeah, Great. That just help just me. told you the number. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go for Meza Ozil. You locking that in? I'm, yes, I'm locking it in. Atkins, yeah, you weren't quite Ozil. sure. I think it really pained you not to go with Paye, but you've gone with Ozil and you were right. Come on. Well done. Right Into there. the Europa That's League. That's First good. time West Ham have been in the Europa League for a little while. Welcome That's back. Only, only, only unnecessary. Years. <laughs> only since the Paye years. The Paye years, true. Zach, you are on absolute flames today. You're in the Champions League. Don't know what you've I got, ate this morning. You've only got one lifeline remaining, which is super sub. McCubbin's on holiday, I believe, but George White, or George White, George Wright is available if you choose to use him. But your question comes in from Matthew Parman, and it's who assisted Jamie Vardy's record-breaking goal against Man United in the 15-16 season? So the assist. A. Michael Brighton. B. Riyad Mahrez. C. Danny Simpson. Or D. Christian Fuchs. Now the issue here is you don't know. Is, <laughs> it's between all bright. <laughs> mm. uh, can I call Joe Tomlinson, please? And can you do it for me, Doogie? Because I'm on my phone at the moment. Hey, Joe, it's Doogie from the Football Pyramid. Please do not swear. <laughs> <laughs> hey! oh. Who? Oh, sorry. Who assisted Vardy's record-breaking goal against Man United in the 15-16 season? So the game where it was the most consecutive games scored in a row. Mark Brighton, Riyad Mahrez, Danny Simpson, or Christian Fuchs? God, what level is this at? This is at Champions League. Zach's on for a clean sweep. Is he to win it? Yeah, he... No, no, this is one question away from winning it, but he does need it. I'd say it was Christian Fuchs. I'd be... I'd say I'm 75% confident it was Christian Fuchs. So I just, I, I've got images of him slipping it with his left down the byline to Vardy. Okay, I like it, Joe. Zach, okay. do you like that? Do you want to go with that? I'll, um, yeah, I mean, it's better, better than what I've got. It's either him, Mars, or Brighton, so three of the four. Okay. Are you locking that in, Zach? I'll lock it in, I'll lock it in. Zach, you were in the Champions League, two questions oh, Joe, away please. from completing the show for Tomo. a second time. And now you just won away! Well, oh, done, Tomo, yeah. thank you so much. Well thank done, you Joe. so Tomo. much. Zach says thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Oh, now we've got one more. I Not never would have again. Got that. Zach Jalad is on. Great use of the lifeline. Top work. God, I need more uh, lifeline. Well done. Well done to Joe Tomlinson as well. I do, you know, he's had some shockers on this show. Didn't know he had an in him. But well played <laughs> to him. Atkins, you're in the Europa League, and this is your final question. So this is to end up in the Champions League, which would be a phenomenal debut, really, considering uh, the absolute disaster with Mo Salah. Uh, so great recovery. Your question comes in from Christian Carroz. And it's which team has the worst goal difference in the all-time Premier League table? A. West right. Brom, B. Norwich City, C. Wigan Athletic, or D. Sunderland? Well, two teams sprung to mind immediately. Um, West Ham and Sunderland. West Ham, obviously, not an option here. Yeah. So, that would leave Sunderland. But seeing as it's my last question, and I've got a couple of lifelines, I think I might as well... <laughs> I'm going to use the... 50-50. Okay. Your 50-50 is West Brom or Sunderland? I'm going to stick with my gut. I, I don't think West Brom were in the Premier League much in the 90s and early noughties, where Sunderland have always been, you know... Round and about. Kind, round and about, always, you know, finishing 17th. And if you always finish 17th, you're always going to have a bad goal difference. Sound logic. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that. I'm going to go with Sunderland and I'm locking it in. Atkins, you were in the Europa League. You started pretty appallingly, but you've got to the Europa <laughs> League. You needed this to finish in the Champions League. You've gone with Sunderland. And it pains me to say you are correct. Oh, well yes. done. <laughs> you finished in the Champions League, Atkins. It's not bad. It's all right. But oh. the tension only builds because we go over to Zach Jalab, who is one question away from completing the show again. He is literally... <laughs> You know, he's hero or zero week to week on the football <laughs> period. And this week he's hero. <laughs> Zach, 
Your question yeah. came in from, oh, I think please. Michael McCubbin wrote this actually. Please. Prior oh. to this season, who was the last winner of the European Golden Boot to play in Italy? So obviously this year it was Chiro Immobile. Who was the previous one? A, Alessandro Del Piero. B, David Trezeguet. C, Luca Toni. Or D, Francesco Totti. Luca Toni had a mental year. Uh, Del Piero. Just something in me never feels like he would have broken the year, most goals. You can cut um, the tension with a knife in here. This is where I regret it as well. I'm like, oh, I could have probably just thought of Fuchs and just said it without calling someone. But to be honest, all right, fuck it. Luca Tony, do you? You're locking in Luca Tony? Yes, mate. Zach Jalab. Oh, please. This please. to become the first person to complete the show for a second time. Oh, You've locked God, in Luca Tony. And you were. Wrong. Wrong, I'm afraid. Ah. Oh. Totti oh. did it the following year. It was Francesco Totti. Unlucky. Oh. So close, Zach. Really so close. unlucky. But guys, you know what that means? We've actually got a dead heat. So, I'm going to ask you one Champions League question, and it's fastest to respond. So you just make a noise. So you can go early on this. Uh, you can go as soon as you hear the one you want to, or you don't need to hear the options whatsoever, but you can only go once. And if you both get it wrong, I'll ask you a second one. And if you both get the second one wrong, then we might call, a, call it quits, really, to be honest. Who was Arsenal's shirt sponsor during the Invincible season? A, JVC. B, O2. O2. What? O2. Zach Jalab, you have won the show. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, Very I mean, it's, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Oh, Zach, oh. I mean, you, as you said, you had the chance well done, to, to, well done. to complete Thank you, mate. You did very well the whole well, thing. Can... Didn't quite happen for you, Zach, but what a display from you again. You were turning into, you know, a bit of a beast on the football pyramid on your day. Are you pleased? I, think, I mean, kind of, kind of. I, it was very much a guess. The, the name Lucas Ailey just kept popping up in my head. And I just felt Totti played deeper. Mm. Played a bit like centre forward, not necessarily striker. But well, um, as I as I yeah. told you, they they both did do it a year apart. So oh, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, Totti in two thousand six seven, Tony in two thousand five. Don't six. worry, don't I get it, Doug. I understand a year apart. Oh, commiserations though, <laughs> Atkins. Really good recovery from you. You know, getting a League Two question wrong, you went back down to the National League, and you got everything else right. And uh, Zach just beat you on the buzzer. Yeah, sometimes you've got to, you know. Just have a little taste of it first before making the real, the real go for it. Absolutely. Um, I, I think I think I did all right. I'm pleased with I'm pleased with where I finished. I would have been happy with that at the beginning. Um, but you know, Zach winning it on an Arsenal question. Who would have thought that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah great work from both our contestants today. Uh, let us know what you guys thought of their performance in the comments section down below. Don't give Atkins too much grief about that Mo Salah question because he came back in storming form. Uh, let me know who you want to see on next week's episode as well. And don't forget to DM me your questions on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Atkins, what should they go and do yes. now? This is out on Saturday. Um, go and check out the Football Daily Podcast channel. Yes. Um, we did a podcast. We do podcasts every week. Come out every Wednesday. We did one this week on the Champions League final, just the fallout from that. And where do PSG and Bayern go from there? And then next week's podcast is all... is. Sort of a how to fix. Uh, we're looking at a few teams like Atletico Madrid and Roma are two of the teams that Patrick and Henry will be looking at. Um, yeah, go over to Football Daily Podcast, subscribe to that and, you know, stay here on EFD and over on Football Daily as well. We have a lot of great stuff. We do. Zach, anything from you? Snapchat? What's what's going down on Snapchat this week? Yeah, check us out Snapchat. We're bringing new stories every single day. Download it, swipe right and then have a look for Football Daily and... Um, Want to check us out on social media? Our handles are below. Go over there. Tell us how well we did. We should have done better. Just abuse us. Ask us <laughs> questions. Up to you, boys. Just follow us. Absolutely. Thank you very much for guys. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Even we'll see you next time. Bye.